Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 3 of practice exam 4 for chapter 8 and 9 for the intermediate algebra class. The one-to-one -one functions g and h are defined as follows. g consists of ordered pairs negative 6, 5, 3, negative 6, 6, negative 1, 8, negative 3. h of x is 4x minus 13. Find the following g inverse of negative 6, h inverse of x, h inverse composite h of 3. So let's do one by one. The first one is g inverse of negative 6. So if you look examine um, the g function, the first components are entries are x, the second entries are y. So, negative 6 is x, 3 is also x, 6 is x, 8 is x. So, all these values are input. Output are 5, negative 6, negative 1, negative 3. The question is asking us, what is the x value corresponding to the y value, negative 6? The so y value is negative 6 and then x value corresponding to that is going to be 3. So, it is g inverse of negative 6 is 3. For the second part, we have to find out h inverse of x. We are given h of x. h of x is given to be 4x minus 13. So we have a few steps here. We will first change the h of x to y. y equal to 4x minus 13. That is step 1. So we are changing the h of x. We are rewriting h of x as y. Then in step 2, you will switch x and y. So interchange the roles of x and y. Meaning write y as x and x as y. And next we are going to solve for y. Step 3 is to solve for y. So 4y minus 13 equal to x. So 4y, you move the negative 13 to the other side, that will become positive 13. Then you divide by 4 both sides. So you will have now y equal to 1 fourth of x plus 13 over 4. The last step is to change, uh, rewrite the y as h inverse of x. So we have to write h inverse of x equal to 1 fourth of x plus 13 over 4. In the third part, is to find h inverse composite h at 3. That is the last part. So using composite functions uh, definition, it is h inverse of h at 3. So you have to go from inside out. We have to first evaluate h of 3, keeping the outside function as is. So which is h inverse, we are keeping it as is. Now we are going to do h at 3. So h at 3, you have to go to the h function here and then replace the x with the number inside that we have which is 3. So it is 4 times 3 minus 13. So we are changing the input to 3 which is this value 3. So that will be h inverse of 12 minus 13. So that will be h inverse of negative 1. So h inverse of negative 1. So we from the earlier uh, part, part b, we found out h inverse of x, which is 1 fourth of x plus 13 over 4. In this relation, we are going to plug in the new input that we have, which is negative 1. So it is 1 fourth of negative 1 plus 13 over 4. So it is negative one fourth 
plus 13 over 4 which is 12 over 4 which is equal to 3. So H inverse composite H at 3 equal to 3. Hope this video helps.